So we're in the cemetery in the town of Didim on Turkey's Aegean coast where the body of Aishanur Ezgi Egi has just been buried. She was shot dead while attending a protest in the occupied West Bank last week. Israeli forces have said that it was highly likely that she was shot dead by a bullet fired from its forces. Her body was returned to Turkey this week. It came first to Istanbul and then to the city of Izmir for an autopsy and then uh, here to Didim, uh, where she has been buried. Uh, Didim is where her paternal grandfather lives. The family is obviously devastated. One of her relatives told me that her death was unexpected, but she was a anti-war person who cared greatly about humanitarian causes and that she had done lots of volunteering in the past. And the reason she went to the West Bank was so that she could witness the operations and violations against Palestinians that are going on there every day. One theme here is that people are talking not only about Aisha Noor's death, but also about the killings of over 41,000 people in Gaza since October 7th, and also about the killings of Palestinians in the West Bank, which is where Aisha Noor was killed, which are continuing every day. Now, Turkey has said that it will be filing evidence to investigations in international courts, the International Criminal Court and the International Court of Justice against Israel to bring justice for Aisha Noor's killing. But the family have been saying that they want the US to play a more active role. Aisha Noor was a dual US Turkish citizen and the family is asking for an independent in investigation by the US to try and bring justice for her killing.